Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As usual, let's see what we did last episode, see where we're at in the points, and see where we're headed today. So last time out we ran the Coke 600. Unfortunately, we crashed a lot. We finished 28th after starting 17th, so definitely could have been better. We showed speed in qualifying, just couldn't put enough clean laps together. But that puts us 26th in the points. We don't have too far to go to get that top 25, but again, our goal is only top 35, so I think we're more than well on our way to that. And on the calendar for today, we are gonna finish the month of May at Dover International Speedway. You know the drill. We're not gonna change anything. We're just gonna practice. Carlo. All clear. Well, this is a track that requires brakes. I know that now. We're doing great. The car definitely seems a little looser than I would like, but sometimes it's more fun to drive a loose car, but then once it's too loose, it just becomes undrivable, and then it becomes really not fun. I think we just ran our best lap yet, so I believe the couple changes that I made probably helped us out a little bit. Uh, we are still definitely nowhere close to the front runner guys, like Dale Jarrett is about to Carlo. just fly past us, but you know, that's not exactly what we're fighting for this first season. We're not going to win races, we're just trying to the car finish good and not crash and make the money be green at the end of the episode. So if we can keep doing that, we'll eventually get enough money for upgrades and eventually be able to maybe run up front in a year or so. But the car feels pretty good. Like I said, we're not fighting for the win here, but uh, we're yeah, we're just gonna try and run all the laps or as many laps as we can and not get stuff. The car head is pitted. The 88 car is headed into the pit. Let's also practice. A pit road entry. Oh yeah. The only thing we hit was the guy in front of us. Woo. I'm gonna say let's go ahead and send it for qualifying and see how we stack up. Oh yeah. We're bad. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, that was not as good as it could have been. We're fine. We didn't hit anything. All right, let's see where we play. 25-0. I think our best lap was like a tenth and a half better than that. So it is what it is. Hey, we get to start on the bottom. 
So I think we're as good as we're gonna be. Let's run the race. Hopefully they paid Alan this time. Hello and welcome to Dover International Speedway in Delaware's capital. This mile-long concrete oval houses some of the most intense racing in NASCAR today. Some of the biggest crowds on the eastern seaboard flock to the Monster Mile to see the best drivers in the world battle door-to-door. -door. Thanks, Alan. Said, the race is going green. There's the green flag. Car so high. it looks like... I think it was 24 laps to a fuel run, so we are just short of making it on a single pit stop. I would assume, though, if I can save some fuel, we can definitely stretch that a couple laps, but the likelihood that this goes caution-free is pretty dang low. Carlo. Oh, come on. Carlo. Hopefully All we have clear. some good long run speed so we can uh, get some of these guys back, but the All car clear. definitely fires off loose, so I'm not trying to uh, be super aggressive at the start. Kind of want to settle into a All good clear. rhythm and then see what we can do. You're all clear. Stay low. Still there. All clear. Washed up the track a little more than I would have liked, but we were able to keep it out of the wall, so no harm, no foul. So we're still running roughly what we ran in qualifying, so pace hasn't really dropped off at all, which is nice. We do have Elliot Sadler trying to pass. I'm gonna try and give him room if he really gets there. I'm not trying to spin myself out five laps into the race. Also, don't need to slide like that this early in a run, but. Oh, well. <laughs> We're already 13 seconds behind the leader. Goodness gracious. The speed disparity in this game is wild. Like, I totally understand, you know, hey, we're trying to spend money to buy better parts and stuff, but seven laps in, we're half a track behind. That just seems a little excessive. We have pulled away from Elliot Sadler just a bit. Slowly catching the couple guys in front of us. Right front is already getting angry, but that's okay. You'll be fine, buddy. Trying to limit the sliding as much as I can because the tires definitely are going to get hot here.
Thankfully, it looks like I'm not eating the tire too much. It's just wearing, you know, from time. But it is definitely wearing. I just hope the tire will last as long as the fuel will. But obviously if a caution comes out, I'm quite sure everybody would pit. I think I'm finally getting into this battle enough where I can maybe push for a lap or two and try and get both of them. Still there. All clear. That was definitely easier than I expected. Let's see if we can pass Ken Schrader as easily. Maybe top of three was not the move. That's fine, we'll get him next time. Still there. All clear. And that is our leader, Mark Martin, right behind me already. Go get him, Mark. You're all clear. So he has already lapped half of the field and we are not even through the first fuel run like I don't know what those Roush engineers were on back at the lab but uh, they definitely got some things right that is for sure Carlo all clear thank you for the pick we have now passed Kenneth Schrader Couple lap guys ahead of us. I say that like we're not already a lap down, but you know what I mean. They're not our position. The leader's going into the pit. Interesting. So all clear. If Mark's pitting now, seems like people are definitely pitting for tires versus fuel. Oh yeah, there's still 32 to go, so he's definitely breaking it up into three stints. I wonder if I can uh, stay out, run these tires. Carlo. Oh, Robert. See if I can just run these tires until they almost fall apart. Or until someone else causes the caution. <laughs> Buddy, pick a lane. They run like almost a lane off the wall, but Clear you can't low. pass them high. And if you go low, then you're gonna have the worst entry to the corner you've ever had. You just can't win. The car head is pitting. So it looks like we're definitely gonna be the last guy to pit. Oh yeah, tires are doing great. Out. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna pit and see where we wind up. Pace cars out. Before the pit cycle started, we were running, I think like 22nd ish. So we'll see how we cycle out. Our tires will also be a lap or two fresher. So that'll be cool, and I have a good feeling a lot of the field is going to be a lap down. But I think we're on the lead lap if we're second. But we'll see. I believe we and leader Ricky Rudd 
are the only lead lap guys pitting. Because all the guys behind us are definitely a lap down, but they might be just having everybody pit at once. I guess we're just clipping the grass as we head into the pits. Cool. Hey, bucket heads, make sure we check the grill because uh, we just ran through the grass for some reason. We somehow are coming out ahead of Ricky Rudd. Interesting. Interesting for sure. So it looks like Mark Martin is back in the lead and Yeah, I It says we're second but who knows on the track where we're gonna end up but we just passed halfway and We just filled up our fuel tank so Unless I hit something, I don't plan on hitting again, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we're finally moving to the front of the pack, I think, or close to the front. But yeah, the game doesn't know how to wave cars around, so they just start in front of the leader on the outside. But instead of waving around to the back, you just start right in front of the leader but uh i believe we are second place and one of only like four guys on the lead lap <laughs> so that caution fell at a good time for us for sure get set the race is going green there's the green flag car low So it looks like we are two laps short on fuel at the moment, but we are going to save and we're going to make it work. Carlo. for a second and uh, thankfully was able to catch it. So Mark Martin pit a good handful of laps before we did. So we are definitely not racing him. I do not think there is any way he can make it to the finish without pitting, so no need to, to push to towards him. Carlo. Ricky Rudd pit the same lap as us, but like Carlo. I said, it's telling me we're a couple laps short. Carlo. I am not pushing, and I might be able to save the fuel. Carlo. Don't think he'll be able to save it. Don't spin out, no caution. We just want to run green all the way through. So besides Ricky Rudd and fake Jimmy Johnson, everybody else 1000% has to pit again. There's a possibility those two can make it, but I think it's unlikely. But obviously, if there's a caution, this all goes out the window, because with how bad the tires wear, you're not going to want to stay out on old tires. Stay low. Still there. Stay low. Still there. All clear. Still 
there. All clear. Are high. Come on, Robbie, tow me around the track. Oh, let's not. There we go. As soon as I let off, the car just hooked left, which is not what I want to happen. All right, it looks like we have saved a lap of fuel so far. So I think we can save one more lap in the next 12, and I think we can make it. Tires are toast though, so we definitely, if there's a caution, we're going to pit for at least right sides, but ooh, we also are only three seconds ahead of Mark Martin, so we do have to stay ahead of him, because if he laps us and then the caution comes out, that completely ruins the whole strategy. <laughs> So at least until he pits, I've got to stay in front of him. Ten laps to go. So I think that's Dale Jr. right behind us, and he's technically a pass for position. But again, he still needs to pit. So I'm not worried about him. It's just Mark Martin. I can't get lapped before they start pitting. But Dale, I can let by. That's, that's not a problem. Still there. Well, and there he goes to pit. Looks like Mark Martin just pit as well. Okay, so Ricky Rudd is who we're racing. We will see if he tries to make it or if he's going to pit. Oh yeah, let's just run top of four wide. That was 
a horrible idea. Why do I do these things to myself? Car low. Oh, man. Clear high. We're fine. All, All is well. The Kurt Bush is only two seconds behind us. I don't remember if he has pit or not. Um, at this point, the I think. Who? He didn't say the leader, so he didn't mean Ricky. Car low. All clear. If Ricky pits, I think we can win. If he stays out. I think we're going to finish second. I also have to not hit the wall because that's not good for lap time. All clear. Two to go. All right, we just put seconds on Kurt Busch. I'm guessing he just went to pit. And we gained a couple on Ricky Rudd, but You're low on fuel. again, he's 11 seconds ahead, so. Clear high. I don't think... There's no way he is pitting. But unless lap. he... Unless he runs out of fuel this lap. I think we're gonna finish second. Carlo. I think he might have run out like at the line because the gap dropped even more, but. Wow, we finished second place. <laughs> A, I did not even think we were gonna finish on the lead lap, but the caution following when it did was a huge help. What a day. It's wild to say that like, it's a bummer that we weren't able to lead a lap, but we still finished second. What a race, man. Now, uh, I hope we made some money. <laughs> Let's see what we did. Now, that is a dollar amount I could get used to seeing. That is helpful for sure. The real star today was Austin Cannon, who climbed from 23rd to second place. Man. Can't wait till we get that first win. Unless it's some ridiculous strategy call like this one was. It's not happening anytime soon, but man, it felt so close. So 23rd qualifying spot, second place finish, and it looks like that bumped us up to 23rd in the standings with our first top five of our career. So that is awesome. We are pretty close to Hermie Sadler in 22nd, but Elliot in 21st has quite a bit of room on us. But again, we just have to finish top 35. I think we're well on that path. Well, with that great run, we are now over $370,000 in the bank. That is going to be great for the next upgrade we start saving for. I don't know exactly um, what I'm going to get next, but I'll I'll take a look through it soon and see what I'm going for. But uh, man, this episode was a lot of fun, especially after how chaotic last episode was super stoked to get that first top five and i just want to say thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're not and leave a comment if you've got anything to say i hope i catch you in the next one see ya